you all saw those points being scored and you missed someone making some really good defensive plays. Alabama outside linebacker Terrell Lewis wreaked havoc on the LSU tackles all night long. He had an amazing ball get off, elite length, and great athleticism. LSU scheme to get the ball out before he could get there most times, but I still saw elite play from Terrell Lewis. Alabama trusted Lewis so much that they even played him in the middle during zone coverage uh, at different times and giving him some opportunities to show that he can do more than pass rush, which I was surprised to see so often. I'll analyze the details of two plays in particular here just to show you what I'm talking about. And hopefully you'll be able to appreciate Terrell Lewis as much as I do after, you know, this season in which he's finally healthy. So the first play I'm going to show you is from the third quarter, the nine minute, 34 second mark. Terrell Lewis is at the right outside linebacker position with his hands in the ground. When the ball is snapped, Terrell Lewis is the first person to move as usual. Actually, he usually has a really good ball get off and he's usually moving before his uh, tackle could even register that he's coming. His reaction time is uncanny, really. So Terrell Lewis is three yards upfield, one second into this play. He is already even at the outside hip level of the left tackle before the left tackle can even engage him. This allows Terrell Lewis to extend his long arm, the inside arm actually, to the chest of the left tackle and keep the left tackle away because he's able to push him away with the inside arm and keep the rest of his body rushing upfield. He has the strength to push the left tackle back with this one hand as he bends towards the quarterback. He pushes the left tackle backwards right into the quarterback and then disengages so that he can attempt to get close for a sack. So ultimately, he misses the sack here. Um, his arms go right over Burrow's uh, head as he dodges him. So he has to learn how to finish this play and get this tackle. But I praise the control that he had the entire play. That's just a good job and good pass rushing. The next play I'm going to show you might be even more impressive. So this is the second quarter here, five minutes and seven seconds left. It's third and nine here. Terrell Lewis is at the left outside linebacker position, kind of maybe like a left end as well, but Alabama has two defensive linemen down to two outside linebackers. So once again, Terrell Lewis is just about the first person to move when the ball is snapped here. The right tackle is still basically set in his position when Terrell Lewis is rushing upfield. Only Anthony Jennings matches him in terms of reaction time on this play. By the time the right tackle number 76 is prepared to engage, Terrell Lewis has built momentum up with his speed. So Lewis runs right into the right tackle number 76, so he's converting speed to power here, and gets his hands inside the chest of the right tackle. Terrell Lewis is in control here already. So Lewis immediately swipes the right tackle number 76 to the right with his right hand. You can see his right hand contact the shoulder of the uh, right tackle and then immediately bends low while simultaneously using his left arm to do a hook and rip move into the right tackle's left arm so that he can't engage him anymore and step in front of him. That's really good technique while rushing upfield. So this is great technique by Terrell Lewis here. He explodes past the right tackle and gets immediate pressure on Joe Burrow here, flushing him to the right. And this ultimately leads to a sack by uh, Barmore and Raekwon Davis. And so the funny thing is that in that play, you can see like extreme athleticism and great technique rolled up into one from Terrell Lewis. And I'm upset that Terrell Lewis didn't get any sacks in this game because that's usually the only way people seem to notice uh, the play of a pass rusher and Terrell Lewis deserves some praise for the way he played in this game But he hasn't really gotten it And so I figure I'll make this video so that you can see it and you can appreciate it whether you're an Alabama fan or an LSU fan I can watch this level of pass rush all day long So if you enjoyed this video watch the rest of the videos in this um, LSU and Alabama breakdown series as I do analysis on the game and Hope to see you on another video. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. See you next time.